what makes Trouble unique and different from the other heavy metal bands? Hmm. Bruce? Um, I, I don't think we're really putting on a show. We play what we feel, and Eric writes lyrics to what he feels in true circumstances. Do you model yourself after any other bands? Well, there's bands that are influences, but we don't model ourselves after anybody. We try and be like anybody, you know. Hey, Rick, I understand you were responsible for getting trouble together. How did this come about? Well, probably about the same as everyone else starts bands. And it's just an idea with a couple friends, and you just build from there. Look for the right people to work with, and once you get everyone together and it starts working out, then you start getting more serious about it. And <laughs> Well, how did you develop the name Trouble? Oh, that's a hard one. That's a hard, it just popped up one day out of nowhere. So we got tired of saying we didn't have a name, so... We built the, just, the name around it after we had the name. Right. We, we made the theory of the band after that came in to proportion after we were into it more and found more about what our life, you know, and our goals are set to do. And it's got a lot to do with the way the world is today. Sean, you're the latest member of the band. How is it uh, working with this group and performing with them? Oh, it's cool. I like this, this band a lot. It's a lot better than, well, I've been in other bands. It's always been one extreme that I like, not everything put together. You know, and this band has got, the, the, there's tasteful music, you know, and it's, and it's heavy and some of them are fast, like I like to play. It's just all around the kind of music I like. Good. Um, does this group have any ideas or goals they want to convey? I guess just to spread the word, like, tr that there is trouble in the world and be successful. Uh, Any new uh, songs in the works? Yeah, well, it, Always new songs in the works. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. Working always on new stuff. On. For, uh, the word trouble and all in, in the world, you know, you see a lot more of it nowadays and what we're trying to do is strive for peace instead of war and all this hatred that's going on and we're trying to do it through our music and it's just something that you know goes on with the material we write and ideas we get going
disco and punk still in demand, what does the future hold for heavy metal bands like yourself? Well, I think metal, <laughs> metal has always been there. <laughs> and uh, especially this last year, it's really come up a lot. So I don't think we should have that much problem. It's just if we're good enough. Bruce, in reading over some of the information about your group, I came across the word gunk. <laughs> yeah. We've heard in your book. Could you please, in layman's term, tell us what gunk is? Well, it's a word that we made up. It's more or less the sound effect of our gu guitar sound when it's crunching. Gunk, gunk, gunk. <laughs> there is a lot of that. <laughs> what do you think your best number is? Uh, I have to say the skull. It's a song that isn't on our album, but it's, it's a song we just wrote recently and one that the whole band wrote together it'll be coming out later anybody else have any other ones they think are best everybody pretty much agrees on that one <laughs> i like that one a lot <laughs> okay jeff the rhythm man here tell us about yourself <laughs> hi there <laughs> uh, <laughs> well i started originally in music when i was really young and started playing trumpet and then piano before school band and then grew up through band and all of a sudden I developed more of a love for drums than trumpet or piano or anything and from there I just uh, got my first snare drum through etch and Ace green stamps and <laughs> my parents gave it to me from there I built up a drum set kept playing trumpet because the band director wouldn't let me quit and just from there so what do you have that other drummers don't have well <laughs> it's hard to say got a lot of support from my parents. I'm not saying that all drummers don't have support, but I think that's got to be the best thing. I got a good roadie, I got good, a lot of help, which helps a lot during, you know, frustrating times when you're trying to get stuff moved and trying to get things going. It's, you know, your job's to play the drums and get a lot more support. It helps. So where do you guys practice and how often? Practice in Chicago, and usually around four nights a week. Where exactly? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> yeah, there's too many weirdos in this town. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you mix everyday living and working with your practicing and your performing? Well, that's been a part of, like, my life since for a long time. Always practice, always works in, like. Yeah, I think we've all always done it. We're just used to it now. You don't really have to make time. There's always time for the things that are fun. Yeah. Always. Well, on a more philosophical note, on a more philosophical note, if you had to sum up trouble in one word, how would you do it? Uh, I'd say that we're real. <laughs> <laughs>